Making the Pentabello Rotary Air Engine Part 3. Yeah. For the main shaft in the Pentabello, I have the one and a half inch aluminum rod cut. Put in a drill press and some sandpaper to square off the ends. This ends a little better, so I'll use that for the front. This is the pattern that's going to be for the jig to line up all the holes. It's going to take a couple different steps to cut out. I basically have this 3 fourths inch poplar doll here that's square. I'm going to attach it like this. And I'm going to cut it off here. And then I have a, another panel that I'll then glue on the back side here. Alright, I have the hole drilled out to put the shaft in. Perfect. For the end, to mark where I'm going to drill my holes, I'm literally just temporarily gluing this on to the end. I only need it to stay on long enough to mark where the holes are going to be. I'm just going to line that up. This one we want fairly accurate because it's going to be key. This position is going to be key to the power delivery in the engine. There. On this side it doesn't need to be quite as accurate. So these are just the air channels. So as long as they don't intersect with one another when we drill them and they're for the most part on the right sides they'll be fine to mark where the holes are because this is aluminum soft and soft enough I'm going to use one of my brad tip drill bits just to put a little divot into it where they are um, Seems to have worked out well for me. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with the middle hole yet. So I'm just going to drill that out at a sixteenth of an inch. I'm going to, my plan is kind of to use it to fasten a um, kind of a smooth piece of metal to hold the uh, things in place. Alright, now for the crank, in 3.30 seconds. The depths are in, on the other side of the block. For these shallower holes you don't really need lubricant, for the longer ones on the other side we will. The holes that feed the air supply are going to be done in two steps. First uh, 3 sixteenths, that will fit the tube, and then the remainder of the uh, the remainder will be drilled at the size of the opening that the tube actually has inside of it to carry the air through. Let's make sure we the right depth. finish off the full depth of these guys. A little lubricant. Final step here is to cut out the notches in the side to open the air channels. Ooh, she's getting hot. So I'm going to use a actually a number seven blade, which I rarely use. 
And since I don't really use them, I don't care if I wreck a few. Well, I think I found a use for the number seven blades. Beautiful. Always hold the work very firmly. Everything appears to have worked fairly well with the jig. The holes are through. They didn't cross over between one another at all, so that's good. It was fairly easy to cut out the notches. And uh, that's about where the crank goes. Uh, looks like that'll line up fine as well. Might be a little tricky to... At this point, I finished the, uh, the main shaft that the whole apparatus is going to rotate on. Before I go any further, I need to secure this in place. Basically, I'm going to probably just use a little of the finish I've been using, shellac. I'm going to put it on the inside of the hole, then put it in, lining up the holes. The crankshaft will be glued in place with some fast drying epoxy. Keep things centered. I'm going to need something that goes in the back here and on the front so that it stays aligned properly on the shaft. For that, I'm going to use the stainless steel here. It's polished smooth, so it should be pretty low friction. I just have to make a small ring to go on the back side and a plate to go on the front. I sandwich the bar between two boards. And I'm going to see how that works out to uh, drill a hole in it. Centered my ring pattern over it. I believe the metal is soft enough that I can just cut it out with the scissors. The metal ring will be is slid over the end of the main shaft here and then the front which I simply cut out a, drilled a couple holes and cut out a disc goes on the front I happen to have a small screw that was just the right size for the hole I drilled I just need to make it slightly deeper screw that in That is our finished main shaft. There's supply is simply a couple tubes will be stuck in here. You can feel how the assembly goes. You have your shaft here that slides over. goes on the front to hold it in place.